Hi, this is Philippe Cunil from SDL. Welcome to this video about the Trillion Sites 9.5 new UI or Experience Space. Experience Space is uh, the new Content Explorer, uh, as you might know it, but it has lots of addition. Uh, it is built on React.js, which is a modern framework, uh, which gives more you know, responsiveness and, and snappier uh, navigation between the content items within the Trillion Sites implementation. This is designed for editors to do their day-to-day -day tasks faster, and it doesn't have all the administrative screens and tasks that you may think of. These might come in a later version uh, of uh, the UI. So for now, let's look at what's new in 9.5. First of all, you have a filter for your publications. So let's say you have 100 publications or more, and you want to filter through those, you can quickly do it. By just typing into this box here you can focus on the websites or the the published publications or maybe more on the content levels really quickly you can uh, see the publications that are of interest to you and start working into them you still have the um, organization of items uh, between folders uh, for the content items uh, schemas and, and so forth uh, the structure groups for pages and site sections, and then your categories and keywords. And you will have also ECL support with external content libraries eventually showing up um, below here. So if I drill down into the folders, you can see that the UI is quickly refreshing and giving us information about the folders and the content items contained within those folders. What you will see is that we also have those quick uh, filters to filter the content uh, by name or maybe only see what's published versus not published or only items which are uh, currently checked out. And we could also filter content types. So here we quickly select uh, image or article or both and we can see the, the results are quickly appearing. And we also have a way to uh, move to the parent publication or the owning publication of an item with this link. So this used to be a UI extension uh, from our community and now it's embedded uh, out of the box in the product. So it's much faster to jump to the parent publication and then you can quickly take actions on the actual item by editing them for example or checking it out. And one of the main things that I really like in the new UI is the way we present the content uh, on the right hand side and the information about the content there. So when I select an item I have information about this item right away. I don't have to open it in a pop-up or a new tab in my browser to see what's in there. So I really have direct access to this information. I can also uh, jump to the schema if I want to. And if I go into those different tabs here, I get all the information I need without having to open the item per se. So here I have access to all the fields, content and metadata fields right away. I can see the version history and take action as well to open particular versions or delete a version. I have my blueprint information. If I want to see where a content has been localized in a particular country site or translated, I can see it right there. And also the, the usual uh, where used functionality, which is quite uh, unique to SDL Trillion Sites. So I can see where the content has been used in which pages and so on which content references that particular component and what it is comprised of. So which uh, content type it is based on, maybe other uh, images or assets that it's actually re referring to or using. And I can see where the content has been published to as well in particular um, publishing targets and, and website targets as well. So that's very handy to quickly navigate. And this also reloads as you select uh, different items, right? See how instantly I can see the, the content appear on the right hand side. This is very handy to uh, look at the content and then pick the right item that I want to modify. Uh, when you select, you can select multiple items, of course, and take action on those. So the actions are um, separate from the items. So you can do bulk activities, uh, bulk delete, bulk copy, etc. Um, and then you can open an item once you found the item you want to work with. So you can just double click on an item. This will open the component. You can see the content itself and you have access to those different uh, tabs that we had in the right hand side 
in the Content Explorer, but now they're here uh, right at the top and easy to, easy to access. And if I want to edit content, I just click here. Uh, if you are in a lower publication, you will get prompt to either edit the parent or localize the content. And that's not a pop-up like it used to be. Uh, so that also saves a lot of time. Now I have access to all the fields. So you see the, the new form field editor. And we have also a new rich text field engine behind the hood. Uh, so we have, for example, a better way to manage and create tables, much easier to uh, add and remove columns and things like that. And we also have additional tools like find and replace, source code with nice coloring and also an accessibility checker. So you can check if the content is valid according to WCAG and W3C standards. You can also toggle a full screen view and it also has a shortcut for it. So if you want to see a rich text uh, in full screen, you can quickly do that. All right, so I can then uh, make changes to the content and finish editing. And then quickly go back to the Explorer view. So really quick to make edits. Uh, and here, if I go into my uh, web publication, which I can filter here again, if we look at the pages, I really like the way we can edit pages uh, or experiences in a, in a headless type of approach. So here I select the page. I have direct information on the right-hand side about this page, but just swapping to this general tab here, I have access to all the regions and the component presentations listed on this particular page. And similarly, I can select another page and see the content uh, being updated right away. This is very handy to um, know what's currently uh, available on a particular page. And then we have the other uh, history where we used uh, and other options right there as well. Now, if I go and double click on a, on a page, again, I'm presented with the list of component presentations and the regions. If I select a region, I have the constraints listed here as well and the types of uh, content that are allowed in this particular region to know what uh, I'm doing, what I can do on this page as well. Here I have five components maximum in the product region, for example. Or I can go here, um, see those component presentations in the component presentations tab with the corresponding uh, template as well. Now, if I start editing the page, I can swap different component templates on a particular component, or I can actually select a component on the left-hand side, and I can directly edit that, this content. I mean, this is amazing because you can really quickly make changes to multiple components on a page. And save those. So here is the option I talked about before where uh, a component is coming from a parent publication. So you simply have here to select localize and edit or edit the parent item itself. So you can come here to the page item itself at the top and then finish all your editing before you come back to the Content Explorer and publish your changes. Here we have a new publishing dialog with uh, more options and a clearer, uh, clearer options as well uh, to uh, schedule publishing, but also a, a brand new way to selectively publish to child publications. So we used to have to publish either to the current publication or to all children. And now you can selectively say, okay, I only want to publish to the French markets or only want to publish to the Dutch market, for example. And in additional settings, you have advanced options to uh, also publish linked items, publish in workflow versions of content, and also you can override the priority. And as usual, you can see which items are going to be published when I press publish. Finally, you have this breadcrumb to easily navigate between folders and always find your way higher up. Now let's create a new page. So if I go in here, add a new page, I can select a particular template, give it a name, 
and again start adding components into the different regions that are available. So here I know I need uh, a product detail banner. You will see the component template is already selected for me because it was defined in the regions definition. And I can swap to a different region and then add more items. So you can see how fast it can be to populate a page with the right content items. And finally, save your page. Here's my new page, and I can then publish it out to the content delivery. So I hope you appreciate the way this new content editor makes it easy and, and quick to edit content, but also find the content you want to work with as an editor. And it's, it's much easier to work with than uh, previous versions of Trading Sites. Thank you for watching.